obviously throughout your career you've been fighting a lot in Las Vegas and the UK and everything, but we haven't really got to see you fight out here. So did you want to be on this card when they did announce it, or were you you know more comfortable fighting in the Vegas and the, the UK cards? No, of course. Uh, I wanted to fight on this card, um, but either way it doesn't matter. You know, um, as a professional, you uh, sign the contract and wherever the location is, it doesn't matter. What do you make of your opponent, Victor Henry? He's, he's fought... A, He's had a long career, but he's still relatively new to the UFC. So when they when his name approached when when his name came across your desk on the contract, what did you make of him? No, I was excited because as far as I'm concerned, this is a top 15 fight. Uh, rankings or no rankings, if me and him are ranked, it doesn't matter. Um, this is a, the caliber of this fight is top 15. Me and him are both better than a lot of guys in the top 15. And um, just because he hasn't fought in the UFC, he fought uh, a lot of good guys outside the UFC. Um, so yeah, it's a great fight, you know. He's a, he's a good fighter. And correct me if I'm wrong, you guys were scheduled to fight earlier, but then it kind of got pushed back. So was it important to keep this fight? Did you like this matchup specifically? No, I just, to be honest, I just do whatever my manager tells me to do um, and whatever the, the, the matchmakers say. Uh, this fight was supposed to be September 23rd and I was ready for September 23rd. I actually wanted an opponent, you know, to fill in and then we could do this one too, you know. Uh, but it didn't work out that way. Nobody wanted to step up. Uh, I get it, and uh, now we're here. And his style, uh, his catch wrestling style, you don't see that a lot in current day MMA. He's pretty vocal that he, he likes to represent that style of fighting. Mm -hmm. So what do you make of his style and, and skill set in a, a way that we don't really see much these days? No, it, it, catch wrestling's been around for a long time, uh, but now it's seen as an awkward style because uh, it's, it, not many people do it. But I grapple with the, the highest level of grapplers in the world, you know. Um, my coach is Jake Shields. Uh, I train with Jason Manley regularly. You know, I've got Patchy Mix, uh, Kobe Fair, my brother Farid, you know, like Amir Abazi. This, these are all the best grapplers in the, in the world, you know? And um, so I'll be prepared for anything. It doesn't matter, catch wrestling, jiu-jitsu, whatever you want to do. How has it been training with Patchy and his preparation for his title fight? Oh, Patchy, he's, he's, he's a great fighter, you know? I'm, I'm glad he's getting his shine now. You know, he's um, really stepped up a notch and it's going to be a great fight between him and Sergio. A lot of people think he's the best bantamweight in the world, regardless of promotion. So I'm curious, what do you think after training with him? Sorry, what's that? A lot of people think that even though he's not in the UFC, that he is still the best bantamweight in the world. I'm yeah, curious he, what you think. No, he's a, he's a great fighter. Honestly, he's one of the best guys I've trained with for sure. Um, he's definitely one of the best fighters in the world. Uh, best bantamweights for sure. One of the best bantamweights. Um, styles make fights everywhere, you know, so you can't really say it until it happens. But he's... He gets this title, you know, he's making a strong case for himself. Assalamu alaikum, Javed. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? Good, alhamdulillah. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Uh, Javed, your contender series fight has earned you so many fans in this part of the world. How has the reception been since you've been in Abu Dhabi and how's, how, how are you feeling with, with the crowd in, 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 uh, in the Middle East? Um, yeah, th that fight went viral, of course, uh, because of the way I handled it and um, the beating I gave the guy, as well as uh, his, the comments he made. Um, people have always been nice to me, you know, especially after that fight. Uh, and um, especially here in this side of the world, they, they've uh, been super supportive, always me sending me messages uh, that I'm representing them. And, and it's great, man. It's a great honor, bro. I, like, I really like it. I like the the pressure of these things, you know, it puts pressure on myself to represent them correctly as well. And, um, but that's it, but ultimately, all of that stuff is noise, you know, it's great to have the fans by your side, but it's noise, you know, when, when me and Victor are locked in the cage, the fights don't fight, fight for me, you know. We've been watching you and uh, your brother and Amir Al-Bazi on this journey that you've gone through from the UK now to being in Vegas and going full time, and you know, we read the stories about you sleeping in your car, has it dawned on you guys yet how far you've actually come and where this is going, knowing that Amir is, is on the verge of a, uh, of a title shot, you're becoming, quickly becoming a superstar in your division, your brother's on the rise. Has that all sunk in just yet? You know, this is a very good question. Uh, sometimes I, 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 like I'll get thoughts to myself and I'll think like, wow, man, look how far we've come. Um, but then those thoughts just kind of like fade away because like the job isn't done, you know? We haven't done anything. Uh, to compared to what we're going to do, you know, so um, 
It's been a great journey, you know, it's good, it's very important to, uh, to enjoy the journey, but there's no room for complacency. And um, me fighting this Saturday night is just going to be another step to all of us achieving our dreams, you know. Ame's got big fights on the, on the horizon. Uh, he should be fighting for the title next. Um, my brother is a, a great fighter, you know, he's the most underrated fighter on the roster, you know. Um, and I'm going to show my worth on Saturday as well. We can't wait to see you. Good luck, Javid. Thank you. Just wanted the prediction for the main event. Who you got? Main event, uh, yeah, it's got to be Islam for me. Um, I really like Volkanovski's fight style. Um, but Islam, full camp. And last time, even though it was a competitive fight, I still thought he had four rounds in the bag. And he's a great fighter, man. Uh, Islam's going to be very hard to beat. I don't see anyone in the division beating him.